Hi and welcome to this video which is a demonstration of the products of combustion. And combustion is an oxidation reaction. If we have a fuel we expect to find two gases forming carbon dioxide and water. So we've got plenty of oxygen reaching this fuel on the right hand side. It's ethanol in a spirit burner. So the gases that are released from the burning fuel are being taken through this suction pump. It's a sealed set of apparatus. You've got some glass tubing with delivery tubes running into a boiling tube that's sealed from the outside. The outside has an ice bath to cool the gases down and then the gas mixture is passed through some lime water which we hope will confirm the presence of carbon dioxide. Lime water turns milky cloudy white as you can see. This part of the demonstration takes place very very quickly. So it's quite successful and the precipitate which is the white solid that forms can actually settle at the bottom once you stop the gases from being sucked through the apparatus. So here in advance I have prepared some anhydrous copper 2 sulfate. It's quite easy to prepare. You just use a hot plate and crush up some hydrated copper 2 sulfate. Uh, place it in a dish like uh, crystallizing dish and evaporate the water away. So here what I'm doing is I'm now switching off the uh, suction pump and stopping the fuel from burning any further. You can see off camera I'll be switching off the suction pump so there's no more bubbles that are flowing through the lime water. I'm now taking away the ice water bath and I'll be detaching the boiling tube and then drying the outside of the boiling tube with a paper towel, as you can see. Uh, this is to demonstrate that the colourless liquid that forms is actually forming on the inside of the boiling tube as a result of being one of the cooled down products of combustion. We will then use the anhydrous copper 2 sulphate to confirm for the presence of water. The anhydrous copper 2 sulphate will turn from white to blue. So here you can see that there's condensation on the inside. So now what I'm doing is I'm using a spatula. You can use a glass rod if you have a large amount of the colourless liquid on the inside of the boiling tube, but I've got a small amount so I'm taking my chances and using a spatula. Ruber is helping me, the technician that we have at our school. So I'm just placing some of the anhydrous copper 2 sulfate into the boiling tube and expecting water to be present. That will be confirmed by a colour change. It should go from white to blue, just give it a little bit of a shake just to make sure that the powder goes to the bottom. And you should now be able to see the blue colour forming at the bottom that confirms water is present. Mm -hmm. 